Hello, this short video comes to us from Fiona Okoye um, and uh, her question is a really good one. Do you know of any good resource or have a list of terminology that would be useful in writing essays um, for English literature? Uh, I want to take advantage of using the correct vocabulary. Uh, yes, actually, there's a really brilliant way of doing that. And what I'm going to suggest is that you go to the exam board website and download the mark scheme. So let's do that together. I'm just going to uh, put in the AQA website just because that is the most popular. Um, it's not actually the one I'm teaching at the minute myself, uh, but here we go. And we're going to find the past papers. That will normally be uh, the link that appears. Uh, which subject are we doing? Looking for English. Uh, qualification is going to be a GCSE one. And the specification, I don't know, I'm not really sure, um, but they're bound to be a bit similar. I'll go for that literature one there. I know it's literature. Uh, and I scroll down. Yes, this is the right period of time I'm looking at. Um, so I'm looking for a literature paper mark scheme. Um, modern text. Let's have a look at that. And uh, here it comes. So I'll just scroll through that. Um, it's a lot of instructions for the examiner here. It tells me what assessment objectives are looked at. I'm not really interested in that stuff. I'm looking for what has to go in your actual answer. So what you'll find is a summary of the skills, uh, but these actually are not very helpful. I want to get to the actual individual questions. So let's scroll down a bit more. Uh, so here's a question one. This isn't the text that we're studying necessarily, but what it will do is tell you exactly the kind of points that you want to make. And your job is to go through those points and pick out the vocabulary that would be useful. Um, so let's scroll down to Of Mice and Men. Uh, I'll just keep going. Um, sorry about this. I should, probably should have paused the video while I'm going through. Uh, but I'm just going to flip down, see if I can find the actual text I want. Uh, Touching the Void, that's a great book. Wish I was teaching it. Um, in fact, there are loads of really great books here, but there you go. That's the way it goes. Uh, Crucible, it looks like this isn't going to be of mice and men. It's going to give me an Inspector Calls, isn't it? Let's find out. Uh, there you go, an Inspector Calls. Um, now, what's interesting is there doesn't seem to be, when I look through here, any particular terms, uh, literary terms, um, that the examiner is looking for. Um, however, let's jump in a bit here. So you'll see the word caricature. Okay, I might nick that. Uh, I'm going to use words like the presentation of the character. Uh, I'm definitely going to wor use words like symbol. Um, but more important than that, when I go through the answer like this, I actually find lots of other ideas that are going to be really useful for me. Uh, and in many ways, this is much easier than reading an essay, isn't it? This is like um, the world's best essay plan, if you like. It gives me just all the essential stuff that I need. Uh, let's fiddle down a little further. Uh, Inspector calls again. Uh, let's see if there's any more uh, um, terminology that I'm going to be able to use. I'm actually going to read from the bottom up. Uh, we've got the idea of a device or a dramatic device. I'm just scanning through. I want to talk about stage directions. Um, this idea of how things are accentuated, that's vocabulary that I can steal. Um, a reference, again, would be one. Caricature, again, that's interesting. It cropped up in our last mark scheme. And so that's a strong clue that uh, this is a word the examiner's like. Okay, I'll steal that. The idea of presentation, again, crops up. Um, and just scrolling up here. So what I'm getting actually is quite reassuring. There aren't many technical terms like simile, metaphor, personification, uh, characterization, portrayal. These sorts of things aren't actually necessary in answering the question. 
but in going through the mark scheme I'll find lots of great ideas that I can simply steal. Okay, now I've scrolled down to part B and found the Steinbeck of Mice and Men section, and a similar thing happens here. Uh, so as I scroll through, I'm looking for vocabulary that's technical, um, and there isn't really much here, is there? Um, foreshadowing is always a word that you're going to use in any question because so many things are foreshadowed, and that's one of them. Uh, we don't have any technical terms here. That is a technical term, the imagery. And that's really useful if I'm not sure whether it's a simile or a metaphor or personification. I'm just going to use the word image or imagery. Uh, I'm going to talk about how things are represented, a representation. Uh, and hierarchy, you'll find, is a word that comes up a lot in uh, any of my and Men question. And you're always going to try and slip that one in. And this will become much more obvious when you look at the mark schemes of several years on the trot, which I definitely recommend. And if we go back to that screen where I found the past papers, you'll see that there are lots and lots available to you. They're very quick and easy to read because you're just going to scan through to the bits that you want. Um, and then your revision won't be about luck. You'll know exactly what the examiners are after. So I'll wish you good luck anyway, and if you'd like more videos, don't forget to subscribe.